Welcome to the analysis of this channel. I want to appreciate so much because of your continuity to support the analysis of this channel. Welcome again. Now, William Somoyuto is still continuing to complain when it comes to certain individuals when it comes to this 9th August general election. And I want us to describe these allegations as Ruto's dirty game towards this 9th August general election. In reality, when it comes to what we do understand with the politics of William Ruto as per the politics is so concerned in this election, William Somoruto has come out several times accusing individuals with an aim of accusing them that they are going to interfere and manipulate this general election. So I want us to look at these scenarios that William Somoruto is trying to play it and save, not knowing whatever he is complaining today. Raila Amolo Dinga sometimes back complained about the same same issues. So without wasting time, I request you with a humble heart, please, stay tuned and we articulate this issue together. So without wasting time, before we continue with this analysis, I'm requesting you the humble heart, please. If you're a visitor and you have not subscribed to this channel, do me a favor, ensure that you subscribe to this channel. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate so much because of your great job. Of course, don't forget to continue liking, sharing our videos, and also putting on the notification bell that when I upload my videos like this, you get notified. Welcome again. Now, as just two days to go for this general election, and as you know that tomorrow is a final day for campaign of Rael Odinga in Kasarani, William Ruto in several parts of the Republic of Kenya and also Nairobi County. And tomorrow, Nairobi County is going to be a busy day of campaign, not only in Nairobi, but across the Republic of Kenya. Now, I want us to look what are these Ruto's dirty game towards the individuals when it comes to these elections as elections is concerned. Number one, William Samoruto's dirty game, he is directing it directly to Uhuru Kenyatta. As you know that Uhuru Kenyatta is still the president of the Republic of Kenya. As far as we are concerned as citizens of the Republic of Kenya. One thing that we know, that that day that Uhuru Kenyatta will hand over the power to the next elected president of the Republic of Kenya, that is the day that Uhuru Kenyatta will no longer be the president of the Republic of Kenya. So William Samaruto, wa uh, they worked with Uhuru Kenyatta in, in 2013 to 2017, and part of 2017, then they part ways. Now Uhuru uh, William Ruto is coming out, accusing President Uhuru Kenyatta with all the effort that Uhuru Kenyatta is making to interfere with elections, that is number one. Number two is to create tension to some areas and strongholds that he believes that are going to vote for him. Number three, that Uhuru Kenyatta is releasing threats to him and also some close ally to the Deputy President William Ruto. So this dirty game of William Ruto directing uh, to Uhuru Kenyatta, who is his former boss, I want to describe as his former boss because now they're not in good terms, politically speaking. So for him, it seems like Uhuru Kenyatta is interfering with these elections to ensure that he's not going to be the elected president of the Republic of Kenya. Furthermore, is accusing that Uhuru Kenyatta is not so concerned with these public officers 
who are concerned and associating with themselves with the politics. And what thing, something that I have realized is that William Samaruto is feeling pain and not comfortable while Matiani has taken side, politically speaking. Joe Mushero has taken side, politically speaking. When it comes to Karaja uh, Kibicho taking side, when it comes to Cecil Karaoke and some of the public servants that has come out to take side supporting Railo Odinga, then the question that still remains that we still continue to ask, today it is a bad mistake, not according to law and constitution of the Republic of Kenya, for these people to come out to take side politically speaking. But the other time in 2013 and 2017, it was a right thing for these public servants to case take side to campaign for Jubilee Party. The only thing that William Samuruto does not understand is that in political arena or in politics, there's something that remains permanent and that is change. When change comes, you will find yourself even lonely and that is whatever William Samuruto is experiencing. But though he noticed this early, then he decided not to remain lonely and he decided to select certain few individuals uh, that were going to support his bid as far as the politics of, uh, of, uh, of his bid is concerned. That is number one. Number two, William Samaruto's that game is painting the security sector. And this is led by Fred Matiang, who is the Cabinet Secretary of Interior Security, and uh, P.S. Uh, Karanja Kibicho. And uh, of course, the cabinet, uh, these people is coming out, associating them with chiefs. As you know, it is not for the first time that William Samaruto has come out to paint bad picture towards the work of Fred Matiangi and his P.S. Karanja Kibicho, alleging that these people are meeting chiefs day and night, that these chiefs are being told, number one, to campaign for Azimio Laumoja, number two, to buy IDs, number three, to manipulate elections, number four, to create chaos. And that is whatever is going on per Ruto's dirty game, painting Fred Matiangi and P.S. that uh, P.S. Karanja Kibicho, that they're meeting chiefs to create chaos across the Republic of Kenya. Number three is that William Ruto has come out to accuse the IT cabinet secretary, that is Joe Mushero, that Joe Mushero is working together with Ezra Chiloba and certain individuals that is so concerned with it comes to this general election. The other time, when Joe Mushero come out saying that it is likely Raila Odinga to win this election with 60%, this capture attention, yes, of William Samaruto's allies and himself. So they felt like this was a sabotage to what they were expecting as free and fair election. That Joe Michel and Ezra Chubloba, who was nominated as the Director General of uh, uh, Communication, uh, Communication Authority of Kenya, that are sabotaging and meeting days and night to ensure that they're going to man manipulate this election. Then lastly, is that the certain people surrounding Uhuru Kenyatta, these people like uh, David Murabe, minor commander, uh, these business people coming from uh, Mount Kenya region, especially people like Amunga, uh, people like uh, Peter Mash, um, A.K. Mash, uh, Masharia, and uh, certain business people in Mount Kenya region that has come out, and uh, certain uh, journalists, and of course he named them yesterday uh, on a press conference, and um, with the certain individuals that has come out to block his bid. So ladies and gentlemen, 
Ruto's dirty game is to ensure that he's going to paint pictures, bad pictures, to certain individuals, so that, that when they walk across the Republic of Kenya, it seems like they are interfering with these elections. What are your thoughts? What are your comments? What are your opinions? Ladies and gentlemen, give your opinion towards this Ruto's dirty game. Drop your reasons. How do you think about Ruto's dirty game? Otherwise, thank you so much because of your support. If you're a visitor, please do me a favor. Ensure that you subscribe to this channel. Put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate so much. Thank you. Bye-bye till we meet on another video.